So there it is, my current weight, 82 kilos. So that's my current weight, 82 kilos exactly spot on. I always weigh first thing in the morning and I do it once a week. You can do it daily, but I tend to do it weekly to start off with. I might start doing it daily to get a bit more serious, but I'm trying to gain a quarter of a pound a week. That's what I'm gaining, okay? Building muscle takes a long time, so people will try and focus on building, like, you know, trying to gain a lot of weight quite quickly, like one, two pounds a week. But I just find all you're gonna gain is excess of fat. So I'm trying to aim a quarter of a pound per week. So I'm just gonna increase my calories. My current calories are 3,750 calories, okay? And I'll give you my, um, I'll give you my macro split later on, okay? But first of all, I'm gonna lock my weight. So all I do is bang onto my fitness pal. My fitness pal, what we're talking about, I'm not logging my weight. I'm gonna just put it on my notes, all right? So 82 kilos, done. So we're gonna remember that. Next week, I'm going to try and be 82.25 kilos. Excuse the hair. As you can see, I've been bulking for, I'd probably say, about nearly about four weeks. I've always been a lean person. I've always tried to maintain my, like, really, really lean, low body fat levels. But I found that I'm not getting stronger. I'm not building muscle. So I'm currently in the bulk. And 82 kilos, I'm still keeping... My abs, they're staying, they're staying there, okay? That's the thing. As I obviously bulk a bit more, I start to lose them a bit more. I'm not gonna worry, I'm gonna bulk until about January, February, and I'm gonna cut down for May, June. Right, breakfast is nice and simple. All I'm gonna have, 250 grams of liquid egg white. I know it's not nice, I know it's not pleasant, but I prefer to have that rather than drink protein shakes all the time. And I'm gonna have 50 or, let's go 60 grams of, um, Cookies, all right? It's a cereal cookies, not real cookies, all right? training straight away, I'm gonna have pre-workout in the winter, all just stuff. I'm like a binge, serial Netflix, Amazon Prime kind of guy. So I'm watching Walking Dead, there you go. And um, I'm watching Amazon Prime, but usually I watch Walking Dead, okay? I'm only allowed to watch that there. What I always do is I always log my food on my fitness pal, so I add 55 grams of cereal cookies. I had 100 ml of skimmed milk. Let's put this on pause a minute. Um, I had 100 grams of grapes. Uh, what else did I have? 250 grams of liquid egg whites. I log it after every meal because the problem is if you wait to the end of the day to log it, you've ended up forgotten what you've had and then you forget all your macros, okay? So my current calories are 3,750. I will give you my macro breakdown in a bit, but I'm going to log that in and I'll talk about macros later on and why I track macros. Here we are, it's 7.30 and I'm about to train legs. I'm in Dorchester training for Physics of Shapes. It's the other gym I come to, so I go to New Body Bridport and Physics of Shapes in Dorchester mainly. Physique's a great atmosphere, great gym, really good equipment, loads of plate loaded kit, and it's got a real old school bodybuilding vibe. So I'm gonna get some footage of my session and let's see how it goes.
Now that was my leg workout done. I've showered, changed, and I ate my meal number two. It's four wheat bix with 200 mils of skim milk, and I had sugar-free caramel syrup in there, followed by a protein shake as well. So I had about 35 grams of whey protein. I didn't even get time to video it. I was so hungry. I just thought I should eat it straight away. I sometimes have simple carbohydrates after workout. I sometimes have you know more complex carbohydrates. I'm not too stressed about what I can't like what I shouldn't shouldn't have really if that makes sense I tend to always try and have cereal before I train because I feel like it gives me a good boost of energy but after a workout as long as I'm getting carbs in I'm happy anyway so that was meal number two done I am now literally at work get my emails done I'm just about to put a muscle foods order in for more egg whites and more steak and more mince that's where I buy a lot of it from <laughs> put in my muscle food order and I'm going to try out these peck sausages so I'm going to go for the um, paprika chicken sausages and the zesty chicken try them at the moment they're 99p I'm not plugging I don't get any commission for muscle food at all but I just thought I'm going to try these out I tried chicken sausages in the past and I wouldn't say they were nice at all they were horrible so uh, let's try these ones out from heck and I'll give them a go and I will give you a little taste review and let you know what I think of them but normally muscle foods I buy steak mint egg white you can get to the butchers and you can bulk buy which I usually do but then most of the time I'm lazy I can't bother to go into the butchers and actually get it so I just find order online just so much easier for me. Mil numero frio, okay? Not numero uno, not numero duno. It's numero frio, okay? <laughs> we have it. It's simple, okay? Uncle Ben's microwave rice, hot sauce, and a tin of tuna. There we go. It's simple, high carbs, high protein, low fat. That's what I try to save my fat to the end of the day. The reason I do that is because I try and like have my main meal as being my most enjoyable meal, like things like spag bar with cheese, um, wraps, beef, etc. Um, 5% fat chips, so I save all my fats for later on in the day. It means I've got more flexibility in my food, so keeping it high carb and high protein with low fat. Go for a John Doffy in a minute with El Charlo. There we are. All there right, we go. Good. This is the office. We're going to show you the office, all right? Look at it. We're in like a steel tin. AKA the kitchen, all right? And Charlie has finally finished his gym instructor cool. theory coursework. <laughs> right, the promo. What's that? I, I, I want jobs done properly. I want it how I want it. So, that promo video is. What, Mr. Yeah. One, one Vlog Wonder? Right, it's that time of the day. It is severe, severe. What are we on? Fatigue. We're on a, severe fatigue. Fiona fatigue kicking yeah, in. Fatigue. Okay, so you get up, I set my alarm six every single morning, and the fatigue starts to kick in about 12 ish. Easy. So, it's John Doffy time. John Doffy, sugar free, caramel cappuccino, <laughs> but. Because we're not going to a proper coffee shop, we're going to a little leisure centre. We've got to use sweetener because there's no caramel because they do you dirty, you can't even taste it. The normal caramel, right, they chuck it in, it's like another 100 calories on top, right? It doesn't even taste like there's caramel in there. Go for the sweetener all day long. <laughs> top tips. <laughs> <laughs> so you see what I'm talking about? We're not in a Costa, mate. It's taken about 21 minutes for one coffee. Two hours later. Two hours later. Don't use the sugar, don't waste your calories on it, or the caramel. Well, because we're in here, we ain't got the caramel, but if you're in Costa, go for the sugar-free caramel. It costs money, but it tastes good. So we are on meal at number four. What is it, five? I think it's four. Let's go for it. Cereal when I woke up, and the egg whites, followed by the wheat bix and the protein shake. After that, I had rice and tuna. Cereal, wheat bix rice, tuna, sweet potato and chicken already. And I'm on fifth meal number five. So I'm on my, basically, um, fifth meal today. It's sweet potato chicken again. It's really, really simple. Basically, I buy chicken um, pre-packed, different flavors, and I just half the pack, and I have um, 400 grams of sweet potato. So I have 200 grams. I first sit in with 100 grams of chicken, and another 200 grams of sweet potato with another 100 grams of chicken. And I just 
just chuck in spinach and tomatoes. And it's like that. Nice and simple. Easy, okay? I'm not really much I'm much for like preparing food, etc. So I like to be quick, simple, and effective. And that's what it's all about. So I've had two of these meals. And then I'm going to go um, to my classes. In between my class, I've got a grenade bar. Probably eat that. And then after the grenade bar, I will then have my evening meal, which I'm going to have steak and um, oven cooked chips tonight. And then I've got to factor in what calories I'm left over with. And when I'm left over those calories, I have kind of in, near enough what I want. So I'll probably have some scones. I may even have cookies. I'm never sure. I get excited about tonight. That's the thing. Get to eat all my calories tonight and watch Walking Dead, which isn't a bad thing. Oh, we in? Yeah, we're in. Hello. Hello. All right. So, um, drove back from Dorchester after work, had a grenade bar, and then I am now off to. Why are you laughing about the grenade bar? Please know you've had a grenade bar. They want to know I've had a grenade shit, bar. I'm talking about macros. I'm talking about macro breakdown. You've got to do the grenade bar. And if you don't look at the grenade bar. Advice. What's that? <laughs> anyway, added the grenade bar. All right, added that into the plan. And now we are currently going to Weymouth and we're going to go to where are we going? For a burger. For a burger. We're going to um, Dorset Bird Company. Nice. And we're going to go, yeah, you're going right. Bloody hell. Jesus. Yes. Anyway, and we're going to Dorset Bird Company for a bird chip. Remember, I save my fats for later on in the evening and I will show you what I'm going to get later on. And that Dorset Bird Company, Romeo Dunn. Um, I'll tell you what, I give it about a 6 out of 10 on the rating. I'm gonna watch that step, I'm gonna fall over. 6 out of 10 on the rating scale, chips were good, served good, venue's good. I'll tell you the burger just isn't as good as LBK, which is my favourite place in Lyme Regis. But I definitely give it a strong 6 out of 10. Recommend to go there though, alright? Anyway, for me, it's back out, gonna calculate my macros and see if I've got anything else to eat. And then it's chill out and it's walking dead. <laughs> And after Walking Dead, it's bedtime. Right, so I was um, just gonna cook um, steak and chip. Obviously, you know, I mentioned when I was coming back from Dorchester to do my other classes. But after my classes, I was knackered and I just wanted to get out of the house. So we went to Weymouth and we went to Daughter Bird Kitchen. So remember, because I saved my fats and a lot of my, more of my calories, it means I'm allowed to be a bit more flexible in the um, evenings. So I had a, um, a tech stack, I think it was a jack stack, um, which had like bacon, cheese, burger, chip. You can't really track up my fitness pal as well. But what I did do was like, um, you just compare it to like a burger like say gourmet bird kitchen and then you just type in gourmet bird kitchen on my fitness pal write in like burger with cheese and bacon get the calories from that and the chips as well and then what you've got is a rough estimate of what the actual calorie breakdown is and i was slightly low on carb um so i had um i just increased in my um carb i just when i got home and i was a little bit low on protein so i just have one of those muller like yogurts and that made up all my macros now people ask me a lot what my current macros are so my calories total at the moment and i'm currently on a bulk remember are on 3750 so that might seem quite high to some people however it suits me because my activity level so you can't just suddenly do my calories okay because it wouldn't work for you because people have different activity levels people work out different amounts all right so we're going to move on i'm going to explain why i have these calories and the breakdown how to calculate the macros here we are here are my current calories okay so i'm on 3750 now um the way i track my calories is i track my food on my fitness pal every single day and um what i then do is i weigh myself every monday morning and you could do it morning your choice and as long as your weight is staying at the same um, level, then that is your maintenance calories, okay? If you want to decrease body fat, all you need to do is go slightly below maintenance level. If you want to increase in muscle, you need to go slightly above your maintenance level. Now, I normally do that by 100 calories either way and just keep either decreasing or increasing depending on your goal. Um, my weight is here, 82 kilos, and it times up by 2.2 and that works out in pounds because I like to work out my macros via my weight in pounds. And I've got my protein, which is 288 grams per day, fat 81 grams, and carbohydrates of 467 grams. Now, if you wanna work that out, that's for another video. However, if you go onto Google, type in um, macro um, calculator, put your weight, put your activity level in, and it will work out your calories for you, okay? Now, a calories and macros for you. Um, if you want me to do it, I'm happy to do it. Send me a message or um, send me an email, and I'll be happy to work that out for you, all right? Anyway, that is the end of the vlog. So what I'm gonna say is, Hand this way and booyah, we're over and out.